Well, the pandemic has made it difficult for millions of homeowners to pay their mortgages, but thankfully there are resources out there to help. Joining us today to help homeowners get back on their feet is senior mortgage originator Matt Boucher, a.k.a. Matt the Mortgage Guy. Welcome to the show, Matt. Thanks for having me. So many people are navigating around their financial hardships because of COVID-19, and that's impacting their ability to pay a mortgage. What relief options are available right now? Yeah, as we both know, there's a ton of people out of work, a ton of people struggling, and COVID-19 forbearance is something that as through the CARES Act to help those people out. Can you tell us a little bit more? What exactly is that COVID-19 forbearance? How does it work? Right. People, yeah, people hear the word forbearance. And as a mortgage professional, my one of my main things I like to do is speak in simple terms for people. So forbearance basically means to postpone or delay payments. So what forbearance does for a period of time, might be three months, six months, or up to a year, they can postpone their payments. So what happens after that forbearance period? Um, how are homeowners gonna get their loans current? Right, and that's something that we've gained a lot of clarity on over the last few months. That was really fluid, it was changing. The servicers, the mortgages didn't know what they were gonna do. But as of the last few months, they've really started to expand on the option, which is a good thing for homeowners. So when you enter forbearance, you miss three payments. As you're coming out, you're gonna have options. You can make it totally current all at once, which let's be honest, when you're out of work for right. three months and you're you're not gonna have six thousand dollars to exactly. pay all at once. So so opposed to that you're gonna have the option to string that six thousand dollars, we'll call it, you missed three mortgage payments, two thousand dollars over a twelve month period and make it right. Or the best option for most people, what I think most people are gonna do is put that whole payment that's due, that $6,000 at the end of your mortgage. And the mortgage servicers, most of them, uh, will allow you to do that. And either you sell and or get to the end of your mortgage, you're gonna have that $6,000 due. Well, it's good to know there are options out there. What about delays? Are we seeing any delays in mortgage applications and closings due to the pandemic? Not necessarily huge delays. I'll, I'll be honest that with people working from home, when you've got title companies that can't open their doors, some of them are open now, but a lot of them are working from home. You've got appraisers having a harder time getting into houses. You've got all these moving pieces and these third party people that are helping mortgages get closed. With with those people working from home and, and the county not being as responsive with some things we need to get from them on the title side, there's slight delays, but the good news is mortgages are still getting done. A majority of our work is all done via email, phone call. And so, you know, being on lockdown hasn't slowed down mortgage. It's It's been a really, really busy time in mortgage this last few months. Well, that's, that's good news. Good news for you. So let's get to the point when a loan is ready to close. Will a notary need to enter the home and be present um, when signing the closing documents? So you need to meet with a notary and some people are like, hey, can I e-sign it? Those documents need to be signed ahead of a mortgage and need to be hand signed by you in front of a notary. The notary is super flexible though. And the title company <clears throat> sends their mobile notaries who are wearing protective gear, they're wearing a face mask. If you wanna meet them in an outside location and stand a few feet from them, I've met with some of these mobile notaries and talked to them about how they're doing business to accommodate the client. So they're gonna do all they can to keep you safe if, if you're worried about you know, coming in contact, you don't want them in your house, you can meet them on an outdoor patio, you can meet them at a local Starbucks, wherever you feel safe, but you will have to sign with the notary at the end of the transaction. Sounds like flexibility is really the key, and I know you've had to be flexible, but it's good that you've been able to sustain and continue working. Do you anticipate cha more changes or any disruptions um, to what you're able to do during this pandemic? Well, I won't get into too much detail, but I will say that mortgage guidelines have changed. And as you would expect, lenders who are underwriting loans for all borrowers, self-employed borrowers, W-2 borrowers, are, are worried about you know your hairdresser, your restaurant owner, these people that have, have been put out of business. And so as of June 11th, there was a big change to other underwriting self-employed borrowers. That stuff's going to continue to change. And that stuff okay. you know, is really fluid and none of we know one week to the next what's going to happen, what businesses are going to be able to open, what are going to have to close. So I think the moral of the story with a lot of this mortgage stuff is talk to a local professional, get some good answers on what you can and can't do. And, you know, if you're restricted on refinance or purchase because of the business you're in, then, then you need to know that. Well, 
speaking of professionals, you're a professional. Why should people pick someone like you, Matt, the mortgage guy? Well, you know, I, I'm not one for beating my own drum, but I feel like a team together really truly cares about people. I try to serve people, whether that's through my YouTube channel, putting out educational videos, or talking to clients in other states that I can't serve. I really feel like the more value I add and the more people I help, business will naturally come. So there's that aspect of it. And then as an independent mortgage broker, I'm shopping all the banks to find each client's unique scenario, the best home for their loan. And that's something that in my opinion, only an independent broker can do. All right, Matt, the mortgage guy, check out his YouTube channel. We appreciate you joining us today. And for more mortgage tips, you can visit mattthemortgageguy.com.